In this video, we'll write the balanced molecular equation for COCl2 plus NaOH. This is copper 2 chloride plus sodium hydroxide. The first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I can see that I have two hydroxide ions here and only one here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the NaOH. That balances the hydroxides. Now I have two sodium atoms. Put a 2 over here. That balances the sodium. Two chlorines. Those are balanced. Cobalt. Everything's balanced. So now we can write the states for each substance. You need to know your solubility rules here or be able to use a solubility chart. Chlorides are very soluble. We're at AQ with just a few exceptions. Hydroxides, if you have a group one element, like sodium is in group one, sodium compounds, sodium hydroxide, that's soluble. So we write aqueous, it'll split apart into its ions. It'll dissociate into its ions. But most hydroxides are not soluble or they're slightly soluble. So cobalt hydroxide, because it's slightly soluble or insoluble, we're gonna write an S for solid. So when these react, it'll produce this solid and it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. And we said sodium compounds, very soluble, put an AQ, that'll dissolve and dissociate. So we have our states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's gonna give us the complete ionic equation. So for cobalt, it's a transition metal. We don't really know its charge, but we do know that chlorine forms one minus charge. So we'll put that up there. Since we have two of these negative charges, this has to be two plus. That's why I was calling this cobalt two chloride because of the charge. So we have CO two plus, and I won't write aqueous each time. Let's do that at the end. Plus the chloride ion, Cl minus, but the subscript here, that means we have two of those. Two chloride ions plus sodium group one has a one plus charge. Hydroxide ion, that's one minus. Good one to remember. So we have two sodium ions and we have two hydroxide ions. So this gives us the reactants in our equation. We said that this is a solid, this cobalt two hydroxide. We do not split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we just write CO OH2. That's our cobalt hydroxide, which is a solid. And we had a plus and a minus. So we have two sodium ions here and two chloride ions. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're ions that appear on both sides of the equation. They really don't change. They're the same at the beginning and the end. So we're just going to ignore those. We're going to cross those out. I have two chloride ions in the reactants, two in the products. Let's cross those out. Two sodium ions. And then here again, we have these two sodium ions here. Cross them out. But everything else, this is unique. And this is the net ionic equation for COCl2 plus NaOH. I'll clean this up a little bit, add the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the net ionic equation for cobalt 2 chloride plus sodium hydroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.